Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. Welcome to the Marriott Golf Academy here in Orlando. Today we're looking at the grip and we're going to show you how a poor grip can really affect a lot of the movements that you make in the backswing and how that can really affect your game. Hi and welcome to another Your Friday. Today coming at you from the Marriott Golf Resort here at the Grand Vista Golf Club in Orlando. Today's question is coming from Jason Nevis, all about the wrist set and the lead arm in the backswing. If you would like to get involved and have your question, your topic answered on this channel, then please let me know in the comments box down below. I will answer a few of them moving forwards in this Friday show. So Jason was saying in his question sent to me via email, he found it very difficult to set his wrists in the backswing. And he also said that his lead arm tended to break down quite severely and he got very, very narrow at the top. So let's just go through what Jason really means. So if I was to take my setup, wrist set, if we were to isolate the wrist set, would be this movement here. So you can see how I'm using my wrist to move the golf club up and down. This will be classed as wrist set. He also said that when he went through into his backswing, he noticed his lead arm, he said was breaking down quite considerably, feeling, well, making it very, very narrow at the top. And you can see that position there does exactly as he says, it gets the golf club very, very close to that trail shoulder. Now, the two things together, the struggling to set the wrist and the lead arm breaking down, really started setting alarm bells off for me that the grip was probably incorrect, or more importantly, where the golf grip was positioned in Jason's hand. Let's just demonstrate or go through how we actually apply that lead hand to the golf club and how that can really influence your ability to set the wrists. If I was to just let my lead arm fall to my side, in a fairly natural position, the fingers would fall pretty parallel to my forearm. So you can see there will be its natural position. My fingers are parallel to the forearm. Now, from this position, we have a tiny bit of movement this way, upwards in my wrist, but not a huge amount. But we have quite a lot of movement down this way, where you can see my fingers are being pointed down towards the ground. Now, when I take my lead hand on the place on the golf club in a correct fashion, I should take my lead hand from its neutral position where the fingers match the forearm and I should create as much angle as I can. So you can see how my fingers are pointing right down towards the ground now. I've created a huge difference between my forearm and the lead fingers. As I place my hand on the golf club, all I do in my golf swing is I move my hand back to its original neutral position. So now if I was to take my lead hand off or more importantly just open up my lead hand, you can see how the fingers are now back in line with my forearm. So wrist set in the golf swing is actually going from this more unnatural position and going back to a neutral position. So let me demonstrate that again for you. Fingers are in this position. I then go back to a neutral position. That is my wrist set. So if Jason is placing the golf club too much through the lifeline, so you can see how my fingers still point down towards the ground, and then I place the hand on, I really don't get that range of motion. I really find it difficult to create any wrist set. Even though that golfer, and in this case, Jason, may well have the range of motion in his wrist, if he places the golf club incorrectly, it's going to very much make it, or make it very unlikely he's gonna create any wrist set going back. Now, let's lead that one on. If I'm that golfer who places that club incorrectly in my hand, I cannot create any wrist set. I have to create some leverage somewhere. I have to get that golf club to what I'm going to feel is a full back swing position. For me, what I would do if I couldn't set my wrists is I would cause, I would break down my lead arm at the elbow. That is going to at least allow me to get the club to what feels like a fairly full position. So for Jason, the breaking down of that lead arm may actually be in this case a good thing because it actually gives him some leverage, gives him some length in his golf swing and probably allows him to hit the ball a little bit better. If he had no reset and no breakdown of that lead arm at all, he would probably find it very difficult to create any speed down impact and therefore play the game to any kind of level. So for me, the, the reset and the grip is the issue. The lead arm breaking down is something that happens as a result, it's a compensation. So we're, here's what we're gonna get Jason to do. Take your starting position, place the club on the ground and really ensure that you create that angle and that the golf grip is placed very much through the base of the fingers. Then you can place your lead hand on and a really simple checkpoint, if you were to hold your forearm, can you get the shaft up to horizontal? If you can, that really is enough range of motion to be able to create that wrist set in the back swing and get the desired leverage from the wrists rather than the lead arm. So as always with these Your Friday questions, I will try and pick some of the ones I think are going to apply to the majority of the people or more people than others. I do see a lot of golfers who maybe place the golf club too high in the grip 
and often the issues become visible later in the string with the poor reset, the breaking down of that lead arm. Right, let me hit one to finish. But I really hope that's helpful to you, Jason. Check your grip. Let me know if that is helpful. So in the base of the fingers, that's going to allow me to keep that lead arm straight and get a nice full reset. So, as I said at the start, massive thank you to the Marriott Golf Academy for hosting us here for a few days. Very, very accommodating, fantastic facilities. So if you are in the Orlando area, I would well recommend, I would worth recommend, I would recommend, I should say, checking out the facility, getting yourself down here to do some good quality practice. Thank you for watching. Use your stuff is down below, comments box, like button, and also a link to subscribe. Click on that link, you won't miss any of the future videos. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.